Everything has become expensive. There is hardly any work. The economy is crashing. Since the Taliban arrived, everyone has lost their jobs. People have become weaker financially. We have nothing. Teachers don't get paid. No one can borrow money. People are begging for money. There is pressure on people. The price of the dollar went up. Everything became expensive. There is no work. My own work has reduced to nothing. People are buying and selling very little. People are living in poverty. That has put tremendous pressure on the food prices, almost to the point of uh, unaffordability by the middle income class. And I don't have to talk about the lower income class. They are in a very, very bad and worse situation. So this is the main concern now. The price of gas has increased significantly. I can see the frustration, the desperation on the streets of Kabul. Taliban fears that if we open the banks all at once, it would create a very, very bad economic crisis. Now people prefer to keep their money in their houses uh, rather than in the banks because there is the issue of confidence. So this is a very, very serious and grave concern for us. The Taliban are asking people for food. Yesterday I gave them four trays of bread and rice, but they didn't like it. They were angry with me because I didn't offer them meat. The pandemic hit us very hard, but they don't care. They are now saying we shouldn't leave the country. When we have no income, why should we stay in Afghanistan? Taliban should be careful. If they don't resolve this problem, a catastrophe will be on its way. We are very poor. We cannot find even one piece of bread. If this continues, I'm sure in a month time people will kill each other for some food. <laughs> 